It's Sunday, and that means it's time for another Sunday shout out and mail call episode. Hey everybody, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure, and we've got 15 packages, I believe. So anyone I have information for, their channel information will be down below in the video description and in my first pinned comment. We're gonna kick it off with a three package pack from good old Zachary Londrigan. So check it out, everyone. Zachary sent me a second box because he sent me a box before. He's got some steel pennies, which are right here. Six 43-piece steel pennies. Sweet. Couple more buffaloes. We've got six Philadelphia Mint nickels here. And then we have a D and a S. And I think that's a 23 or 25 S. And I can't get a date on the Denver Mint. Maybe I'll be nicknating those in a future video. See what uh, years they are. Really cool eight Buffalo nickels. He also sent me some V nickels. And check these bad boys out. An 01 and 03. And honestly, this 1912 is in really great shape. You can still read the Liberty on the crown. It's got all the beads around it. The stars look good. Yeah, great detail. That probably upgraded my album, no problem. He also sent me a couple of bills. One's a silver certificate and one's a $2 bill. He says it's creased down the middle, but you know what? When it gets to being a red seal note on a $2 bill, I'm all good. And also a 1957A silver certificate. And for being as old as it is, 60 something years, it's not in that bad of shape. Not that bad of shape at all. A little bit of iron on that if I wanted to. It'll flatten out just clean. A little bit of dirt, but you know what? These are awesome to add to the collection. And then he threw in an Ireland coin. I think it's a 2002 5 euro. And an 018 uh, Philadelphia minted shield penny in great shape. And then three pressed pennies. So he sent me a letter. He works at Mickey D's. He's been getting a lot of good coins from customers. All these letters talk about him and his kind of his luck of the draw by getting customers paying with wheat pennies or rolls of coins that happen to have enders or it's a full roll of buffalo nickels. So he's had some great scores, not only at a tax sale of any went to, we picked up some of these for me, but at his job. And that just goes to show you guys, if you handle cash for a living, you are lucky because you can go ahead and cherry pick through the cash drawer or when you're accepting cash. It's such a great thing. Man, if you were a bank teller, you'd have it made. Anyway, Zach, really appreciate the personalized letters. Great job on the, on the fines. Thank you so much for donating to the channel. He also wanted to let me know that if I have any duplicates in here, I can use them for future giveaways on my streams. And I'm sure I definitely can do that for sure. Zach, man. Two letters and a package this week, a package previous week. You are definitely, definitely <laughs> improving my collection with everything you send. Much love, brother. Thanks for the package. And hopefully you like this shout out. We've got a couple of letters from Coinman5000. So let's see what's inside them. Coinman5000 writes, RFT, thought I would send you another cup around to add to your collection. Have a great weekend, my friend. Coinman5000. Guys, he sent me a Zombux cop around last time and I loved it. He sent me a different one this time. So awesome. Look at that detail. It's like a flesh eating zombie in the front. Wow. Currency of the apocalypse. Zombux. He also sent me some, we uh, no, just some copper pennies. P.S. Here's a bag of six copper pennies. I would like to trade you for something. LOL. Just kidding. I was like, I can trade you some copper pennies back. We'll always take copper pennies though. And then he sent me a holiday wish, uh, Merry Christmas card, Coinman 5000. That's awesome. It's custom made. Man, I should have got something like that done. You're always one step ahead of me, Coinman 5K. Happy holidays, Rob, to you and the family. Thanks for all you do, Coinman 5000. Hey, is that a hobo penny? Oh, that's sick. A 1909. Hobo Penny, I have been eyeballing these things and just have not pulled the trigger to get one. Wow, that's awesome. Let me untape it and see what the bag looks like. It's probably just regular in the back, but I still want to pull it out. I'll be right back. Look how sick this thing is. The detail is gorgeous. 
I did check. It's not a 1909 VDB, but man, the detail is good. That was a great looking 1909. And honestly, I know it might have ruined the numismatic value, but I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Corn Man, unbelievable. Great package. <sighs> so happy to have one of these. Now I just got to find a good hobo nickel to go along with it and uh, keep that hobo collection going. Wow. You guys know the drill. I have everyone's channel down below, but if you haven't checked out Coin Man 5000, you definitely got to check him out. Silver pours, copper pours, coin roll hunts. He's awesome. Next up, a package from Sammy Samuels. All right, guys, Sammy Samuels has a private letter that he sent me wanting to do kind of an appraisal of his coins. So I'm going to be taking care of that on my own the best I can. And I just wanted to point that out. But Sammy Samuels, if you're watching, I appreciate the letter and I'll definitely get back to you for sure. Next up, a letter from you guys know him, Marky Mouse. Marky Mouse sent me a happy holidays card and he sent me some goodies in here. He pretty much says, hello RFT, thank you for the sending me your sticker. I love it and you gotta love it. Here's a little surprise for sending me it. Can, also, can you send back the one penny on the right? Because I need to check the date, thank you. Uh, YouTube name is Marky Mouse. Here are the coins for you to keep. He sent me a 43 Steely, a 38, a 54D, a 44D, a 53D, a 41, and a 57D Wheat Penny. Awesome. And guys, let me go ahead and pull this coin out and see if we can use the scope and the loop and see if we can get a date off this for Marky Mouse. All right, Marky Mouse, I have tried and tried. I can't get a good clean shot of it. We know there's a mint mark. You guys can see it below the date. And if I put a shadow there, I believe it's an S. When I looked under the microscope, you have this damage across where the last digit and part of the third digit would be. After a lot of examining, it's in my opinion that it's a 191 with either a 0, a 3, a 6, a 5, or an 8. Only because the very bottom where the gash is looks rounded. My best guess is that this is a 1916S, but that could also be a D. And because it's been gashed, it's hard to tell. But when I put a shadow over it, it has the markings of an S. So there's no way to really know for sure. If you're wondering whether it's a 1909S, I have looked at it the best I can. You cannot make out any detail on the bottom. It's too worn slick. I don't think that's a zero because under certain lightings, it looks like it's another one. So I think it's a 191, fairly certain. And I think it has an S mint mark, fairly certain. And the last number could be rounded at the bottom because of the gash. So it's hard to tell. So really, unfortunately, it could be anything from a 1910 to a 1919S. And I really can't tell you for sure. I'll send it back to you anyway. But again, none of that's verified. Not 100%. I don't see any VDB, but as you know, VDB is already light anyway, and with that much wear, there's just no way to be certain. And like I said one final time, it could even be a Denver Mint. It's most definitely got a mint mark, but it could be a Denver. It could be an S. I think it's an S. It's so hard to tell. Anyway, Marky, I know that doesn't help you a lot, but thanks again for the package. I appreciate it, brother, and I'll be sure to send you back your 1910 through 1919 DRS penny. Dang it, I wish I could have helped you better. Let's move on to the package from Mr. Angler. So Mr. Angler is actually Derek's Coins. That's his YouTube channel. It'll be listed down below. He writes, Dear Rob, I enjoy watching your penny hunts. I noticed you like the 59 penny, so I got you a 59P BU penny and a 59 proof penny. Let's take a look. Sorry for the hold up, Derek, but I checked and there's only the 59 penny in here, BU penny, and I checked the package. It looks like it might have had some rips in transit. So it looks like the 59 proof didn't make it, but don't worry, brother. It happens. I'm still really excited to have this penny right here. That's a beautiful 59 BU penny. What a bummer that I didn't get the proof penny with it, but that's the USPS for you. Oh well, I still appreciate it, brother, and hopefully you enjoy the shout out. Everyone check out his channel, a 59 BU penny, and this thing is money, literally. <laughs> All right, next up is a package from Rex Booth. 
So Rex writes, Hey Rob, I'm a new sub since one week ago. I don't know when it reaches you, so maybe two weeks. Well, we got it now. Been collecting for almost four years now. Wow. Included in this envelope is a shiny 43 steel penny to give away. And check a look at this 43 steel penny to give away, guys. Beautiful. Be happy to give that away. He also included another 43 steely for me. Two 1919 pennies. Can never have too many teens Wheaties. Thank you very much. A 35S, that's down here. And he also gave me a 53S, so that's really cool. A 43 Nazi coin. I also collect World War II stuff. And that would be this one over here, sorry. Yeah, oh, it even has the Nazi sign on there. That's my first Nazi coin. Thank you very much. A 40 aluminum Spanish coin. And he says, one of his very first coins. Man, it's so light. It's aluminum. That's crazy. And then, last but not least, the 1999 Liberian Proof. I've seen prices for $20 with these coins, but I own two and got them for free. Sorry for the bad, ha bad handwriting. Cute the good work from Rex. Look at this. 1999 proof Liberian coin. That is awesome. Major General George G. Meade and General Robert E. Lee from the Gettysburg Battle. 1999. Unbelievable. Rex, great package. I'll be sure to use this wheat penny, this 43 steel penny as a giveaway. And thank you for sharing some of your collection with me, especially the Nazi coin. The Spanish coin. We got a couple of 47 Spanish coins right here as well. I don't know if I pointed those out, but that's cool. We got a couple of those, some Wheaties for the collection. Thanks again, Rex. I think it's really cool you've been collecting for four years. Hopefully you coin or hunt as well. All right, thanks again, Rex. Now let's move on to Elias Crowley. All right, guys, Elias writes, Rob finds treasure. My name is Elias and I am seven years old. I love to collect coins. I usually go through boxes of coins with my older brother. Will you please write a letter back? You know I will. I decided to send you a couple of foreign coins. I sent you a 65 Canadian young head cent, a 48 square coin from Curacao, and a 2009D penny. I hope you like the coins I sent, Elias. P.S. Can you please send me a 52S weedy that I need for my album? Uh, I could definitely do that, Elias. P.P.S. My older brother is Coin Roll Searcher. Okay, Coin Roll Searcher's younger brother, Elias. And take a look, guys. An 09, a 65 young head, and a Curacao square five cent coin. So cool. Matter of fact, I'll get on this. I'll write you a letter. I'll include a 52S. Elias, I think it's cool that you get to Coin Roll Hunt with your older brother, Coin Roll Searcher. And I will be sure to put Coin Roll Searcher's channel down below since it's your brother's channel. And let us know when you get your own. Thanks again, Elias, for the cool coins you sent me, and I'll be sure to send you a package out as well. Next up, we have a package from John and Samantha Gilson. All right, guys. The Gilson clan sent me a holiday wish card. They wished me not to show it on YouTube, so I won't be doing that. But I do want to make sure that John, Samantha, Matt, and Ben all know I received your Christmas card. You guys are the best ever, man. Thank you very much for the holiday wishes. And Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to you and yours as well. Next up is probably another holiday card from Silver Heist. We definitely got a Christmas card from Silver Heist, guys. Be sure to check out his channel. He's got some great content, and I think he mentions it in here. He wrote, Robin Family, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, too. Season's greetings. I have a fun series, 12 Days of Christmas, for coin roll hunters, silver stackers, and coin collectors. Each day and video represents a coin as we build to the finale. It's 12 days like the song. Check it out. Plus, congrats on the epic penny hunt. Most Wheaties Wins also continues. So Silver Heist has a series where he features some of the videos of the coin roll hunters that he watches and puts out a video each week of which channel found the most wheat pennies in their search that week. It's a great series. I've won one. He's won a couple. He has Pam's Coins on there and a few other channels. Too many to name, but it's a really fun series. And be sure to check out this 12 Days of Christmas series he's got going on. He even tossed in, because he knows I love him, a $1 star note, 
beautiful. Thanks again, Silver Heist. Merry Christmas to you and your family as well. Happy holidays, brother. And looking forward to checking out your 12 Days of Christmas series. Next up, we have a package from Zach Lewis. All right, guys, I'm really excited about this package from Zachary Lewis. Now I remembered what it was. Zachary writes, Hey, Rob, my name is Zachary Lewis. I'm 14 years old, and I am from the Detroit area. I started watching your videos when you were at about 3 to 4K, I think. The first video I saw I loved, and I love how you will talk about the coins you find, say how many you were made and their rarity. I love how you are active in the comments and will answer questions there. I thought it would be fun to make you a couple of coin rings for a Christmas present to you. You asked for a size 10 to 10 and a half, so I made it a 10 and a quarter for a good mix. I also made your wife one, and that is a size 8. I didn't ask about that one, so I hope it'll fit one of her fingers. I also put in a few Wheaties, foreign coins, a Detroit People Mover token, a colored Texas State quarter, and a dollar star note. I also included a 59 penny, a weird 59 penny, that has the back of another memorial on it. I'm kind of confused if someone did this somehow or if it's an error. If you think it's an error, please send it back. If not, you can just keep it for your collection. All right, I'll be sure to check that out on camera. Thank you for putting so much work into your videos and being so friendly in your live streams. P.S. Sorry if your ring is a little funny looking. I didn't punch the hole perfectly centered. That's all right, brother. It's a free ring. P.P.S. I'm okay with you putting all this on the video. Okay, I don't have to edit that out then. Let me go through it first and foremost, Zachary. Thank you very much. This is an awesome package. We'll start with the star note, guys. You know I collect them. Got another one. That's really cool. We've also got a foreign coin here. And I think it's a Groshen, if I saw it correctly. Yep, 1960. Beautiful. Republic Osterreich. Very, very cool foreign coin. We've got a British penny, a 1920. Awesome. Here's that Detroit token. I got one of those recently, so it's cool to get a second one. Here's that colored Texas State quarter. Can't get mad at that, especially being from Texas. We got a 37 Philly, a 43 Steely. A 44P, a 44D, a 1950P, and a 1950D. Thank you very much for all these cool wheat pennies and the uh, foreigns and the tokens and, of course, the bill. Now let me take a look at the two rings, and then we'll take a look at this weird penny last. So I wanted to show you guys the ring he made me. It's really cool. United States of America. Looks like it was made out of a dollar coin, I believe. Yep. One dollar. And I wanted it small so that I could have something to wear on my pinky. And I believe it'll just fit my pinky just fine. Not that I'll be wearing it every day, but I wanted to have something, something good luck when I'm hunting. So that's cool. And then he also made my wife a ring, which I know she'll be excited to have. Ooh, it's a Texas state quarter ring, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. 2004 Texas State Quarter. So she'll be really excited. And it says United States of America on the inside. Quarter dollar. So that's really cool. She'll be excited to wear that one as well. Zachary Lewis, thanks for the ring gifts. Very nice of you. Now let's take a look at this weird penny. So we've got a 1959 penny. And yeah, you can see that it looks like it's got some of the word America stamped on it. And because of the placement of this damage here, this is what's called a vice job. Somebody grabbed another penny and either viced it into the front of this one or smashed it with a mallet or a hammer or a sledge, just enough um, to do that to it. This is definitely not an air. It is definitely what they call a vice job. I wish I had better news for you, but you can't see the parts of America and the memorial building on the back. But yeah, definitely not an heir. If you want it back, let me know. But uh, this is just one of those miscellaneous finds that I would put in my miscellaneous jar to visit down the road if I, whenever I want to go through it. Matter of fact, I need to create a video with you guys showing you all of my little miscellaneous finds like this that I have found in all my coin roll hunts that I've always just kept because they're unique. Yeah, you can clearly see how much it's been pinched and damaged on the back. To any extent, 
is a weird and miscellaneous find, and it's still really cool. And wow, what a care package from Zachary Lewis, guys. Zachary, I've seen you active on my channel and in my streams, so I appreciate it. And you're 14 years old, and you're making mighty fine rings already. I want to get into that, but I think it's just too much work for me personally. Once again, Zachary, thanks for the package, brother. Happy holidays to you and yours, and happy hunting as well. All right, we got a package next from TB. Terry Bradshaw? Just kidding. Let's see what it is. This is unbelievable, guys. I have been eyeballing these 1909 copper rounds. They even say one cent and VDB on the back, which I'll pull it out here in a second. I have been eyeballing these. I was gonna buy a bunch for my giveaways. I was gonna keep a bunch for myself. I absolutely love these copper rounds. And Talking Bullion sent me one, and I never even told anyone I was looking at these. Talking Bullion, man, that's BA. First ever Talking Bullion Magnet, number one of 10. And he sent me his first ever magnet. Unbelievable. That's a good idea too. Magnets, so cool. He's got his YouTube channel right there, guys. Do me a favor, just for the love and the sake, the fact that he read my mind on that copper round, check out his channel. I have it posted down below. Give him a subscription. Holy cow, sent me the first magnet he's ever got. I am the proud owner of it. I'm keeping it with this envelope. It's like my new COA for it. Rob, a warm Christmas wish for peace, cheer, and happiness, and all the best for the coming year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Talking bullion. Brother, holy cow, you read my mind. That's a cool magnet, and I got the first one ever, and you get to go ahead and pop out this 1909S VDB uh, wheat scent cup around and show them what it looks like. I'll be right back. Look at how gorgeous this is, guys. And look at the back. Even has the VDB on the bottom, the weed ears, two ounces, 0.999 fine copper from the Golden State Mint. I was literally thinking about purchasing some of these just the other day. I've been eyeballing them for a couple of weeks now. Gorgeous. What a stunner. Above and beyond talking bullion, and I'm going to be taking this out very carefully and putting it on my mini fridge in my coin hunting room. Wow. Merry Christmas to you and yours as well, talking bullion. Unbelievable. It's like you lived with me or something. You knew exactly the things I was looking for. <sighs> Crazy. Final package of the day is from D. Cloyd. So first and foremost, D. Cloyd is actually DMC Coins. So Dakota, I will have your channel down below listed. Guys, check him out as well. He writes, Dear Rob Finds Treasure, I know I've said I would send you a package. Well, guess what? This is it. I gave you some goods and some for you to sign and send back. I have yet to win a mat, so I will soon buy one. Your sticker is too cool. Sorry for not sending these things earlier. Let's cut to the chase bank, LOL. <laughs> yeah, let's cut to the chase bank. <laughs> Envelope one are things for you. Boom. Envelope two are four flips that are two by two. Can you sign these and send them back? Love your streams and your vids. Merry Christmas. Regards, Dakota Cloyd with DMC Coins. All right, let me go ahead and open up the contents of this first package, and we'll see what kind of goods he sent me. So DMC Coins sent me one of every Canadian denomination. They got a penny, a nickel, a dime, and a quarter to go along with four 2009s, one of each, and seven wheat pennies. <sighs> really cool DMC coins. I'll be sure to take a look at these later on, add it in my collection. But man, that was really, really kind to you. Thanks for the gifts. Now let's see what kind of things you want me to sign for you and send back. Let's take a look at these. Oh, you did not tease me with the 1914D key date. I've never seen one in real life. I know that sounds silly, but I haven't. The 1914D. Yeah, that's awesome. And you know what? Clear date, decent detail. 
Not in that bad of shape. Not worn flat like I've seen them online. Beautiful. Yeah, I'll sign it and send it back. Woo! What else we got here? A 1909 VDB. Good detail on this one, too. Wow, it's a stunner. And it's even got the wood grain look to it. All right, I'll sign and send that one back. What do we got here? His first buffalo nickel in a coin roll. Looks like it's a 1913 Type 1. And I can't see if there's a mint mark on it. But 1913 Type 1. Wow. Wish I could see if there was a minty on there. Well, to any extent, it's a 1913 Type 1 for sure. That's the raised mound in the back. And you can just make out a 13. I will sign that as well. And then finally, a 1952 Republic of Italy, five cents. All right, I'm assuming you want me to sign the backs of all these, so I will definitely do that off camera, but I'll definitely sign the backs and, are you kidding me? Beautiful. Wow. Guys, the love is just unreal. Thanks again to all of you for sending me a package. As you know, I'll have your channel link, if I have it, down below in the video description. Hopefully the coin community sends some love back, checks out your channel, watches a video or two at least, and subscribes. That'd be great. I have got myself some work to do to put all these good things away, and but that's the most fun of it. And you know what? My wife is going to be super excited, Zachary, that you made her a ring. I know she will be. Just like I am. I got a good luck ring for my next hunt. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these Sunday shoutouts and mail call episodes. If you are, I would definitely appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. Thanks for watching. Oh, and Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year as well.